Hey guys, so Kling 1.6 Pro just got launched and it's quite impressive. So this video is going to be a review of generator samples like I did with the previous Kling 1.5 Pro video months ago. We will be getting into the details both good and bad to have a general and holistic feel of the model. Like I said, it's impressive but still lacking in some areas. Alright, let's get right into it. Okay, for the first shot, it looks cool. The eerie dystopian feeling of the environment, the rust on the car, the worn-out nature of the buildings in the background, this shot looks nice. It feels like the intro of a cool video game cutscene that still retains environmental elements that make the world feel alive. It's quite nice. Moving on to the next sample, we have Psyduck from Pokemon. Yeah, this guy, lying on the Colosseum in Rome. Man, this thing is really breathtaking. See how realistic the fall looks on Psyduck. The damage of Colosseum would have been better, no rocky debris after damage, the plume of dust definitely looks realistic but feels like sand rather than rock dust. So this is what I expected it to look like but it still feels awesome to see AI generate this level of detail. Next up is a boxing match between two heavyweights. I love this scene especially when compared to other video models. But right now I don't have any comparisons to show off just how good Kling is. But yeah, take my word for it or research it for yourself. But this boxing scene is the best one I've seen from any video model at all. The muscle striations from the punches, the impact the punches make with the face, the reaction of each fighter from each punch, like it's very very solid. Next up is this tall god of thunder scene. This scene is good. I love how lightning strikes in the scene look realistic. Love the way the lightning flashes reflect of the character's face, adding a layer of presence. The arm swing, the bird swing and cave flow were also quite good. I love this shot so much. Next up is this scene that made the thumbnail of this video. As you can see, this scene is so well generated. Looks like something Pixar would make. Although there are some issues here and there but it's still very well made. From the realistic scenes in the background to the well lit eyes of the character. The character's hair looks so sick. The reddish tint on the skin of the character gives it life. The emotion in the character's face just sells everything. If I didn't know this scene was air generated, I wouldn't believe it if someone told me. The realistic hair dangling while the character runs, chef's kiss to be honest. Some issues like the disappearing hands while the character is running, those can be dealt with in a future version of Kling. But right now in 2024, this is awesome. Next up is this lady sipping a glass of wine and minding her business. This scene is sublime. From the way she anticipates drinking the wine, to her smile just before drinking, it's awesome. Also feels really ladylike. Also, the physics of the wine is accurate. The changing reflections on the wine glass is also accurate. The only issue I see here is that the wine changed color from bloody red to a light pinkish red. Aside that, this scene is quite cool. Please, if you're enjoying this review, consider liking and subscribing for more like this. And before it skips my mind, the account sources to this content are in the top right corner. Check them out on X, they all do wonderful AI generations and I still have some cool ones to show you towards the end, so don't click out yet. Next up is this scene between two futuristic warriors. I love the detail, it feels lifelike but like its predecessor Kling 1.5 Pro. Kling 1.6 Pro still struggles with raindrops. The raindrops never fall from the skin of the character. It just gets stuck on the skin like a glue. Aside that, this shot is well made. Next up, we have Will Smith eating a spaghetti. Nothing to fuss about this one, looks awesome. Next up, we have this lady riding a bike. It's awesome. Her hair moving in the wind is so cool. What I don't really understand is how she's still on the road. With this amount of swerving she's doing, she should have had a crash. Just shows you that AI still lacks a basic understanding of the world. Secondly, if you look at the beginning of this shot, her left leg didn't swing over the bike, it faced through the bike, but still a good scene overall though. Next up is the solid interaction between these policemen. This stuff looks like it was shot from a movie. Their uniforms, the busy streets behind them, the tension from their faces, the glances they make at each other while interacting, everything is top notch with this shot, I love it. Next up is this latte shot. The mix between the milk and the espresso just feels natural. As the milk is gradually being poured into the cup, the liquid level rises. The color change of the overall mix is also very lifelike, very cool generation if you ask me. Next up is this monster looking thing preparing to take its flight. The environment is very well lit and detailed, the whole stuff is nice. I included this one just to show you guys that Kling is good with other concepts not found in our everyday life. I saw other videos of crazy monsters Kling made, all I can say is that Kling nails monsters very well. Next up is the BMW clip. Here, the BMW races a fighter jet. I have no qualms with this, it feels very well made. 
Here I know another boxing clip, it just feels nice. Boxing is nice in general with this model. Yeah, that brings me to the end of the video. Which of them was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.